in this video we're going to be setting up Google Picasa and if you already have it set up you may not have web, web albums set up yet this photo program it's it's kind of like a mini version of Photoshop you can do a bit of editing in it but it's more of a of a get your photos on under your computer online in a quick and easy way and it's it's a Google program um, if you already have it on your machine just kind of sit tight as we set this up uh, and we get to the web albums part. If you don't, you're going to need to follow along and do what I do here. So first place you want to go is picasa.google.com because the first thing you want to do before you set up web albums, which is your online Picasa, you want to get the program actually in your computer. So go to picasa.google.com, download Picasa 3.8, get it onto your desktop, and you can probably pause the video now and then just play again once you get it set up and ready to go. Don't go flying through it yet. Get it installed and, and it'll sync and try and grab a bunch of the pictures in your computer. You just pretty much need to follow the install instructions. I, I can't really go through that as you know I already have it in my computer. I really don't feel like I'm installing it, but it's, it's pretty mindless, guys. You just download Picasa here, picasa.google.com. Uh, watch where you're downloading it. You know, depending on your browser, it might go into the downloads folder. Um, I have mine set to go to my desktop, so I go in here. If it doesn't start automatically, click here, and it, it'll show up on the desktop as a little download icon, okay? See, so save or cancel. I'm going to save, and I'm not going to run. I'm going to save, okay? Save the file. Don't run it from Google. It might not really work right then. So once you get it, you get it onto your desktop, and you would double-click it and install it and follow through the steps that you would take to get it installed on your machine and it doesn't take long and then before you know it you've got Picasa 3 installed on your machine um, here, here's a, a calendar a bunch of photos I had for a buddy of mine that was getting married we were, I was gonna use them for a calendar stuff like that and it's just syncing and it pulled up all the photos in my computer um, from the various spots not necessarily just in my pictures and any folder that had a picture in it and it put it into into this program so it hasn't moved the stuff around it hasn't made copies of it it kind of works like iTunes does so iTunes finds music files on your computer and when it finds music files on your computer it then will say um, okay cool there's some pictures of my brother's cat right it's these are in a download folder I didn't even know I saved those but now here they are in my Picasa because it found them on my machine it didn't move them or copy them or change them around it just has them here because um, they're, they're there and they're pictures okay the same way iTunes finds music files in your machine and plays them in iTunes but that doesn't necessarily mean it's moved them into the iTunes music folder people get confused they go into iTunes music and they're like hey where where are these files I only have a little bit of music in here they're probably in like your LimeWire download folder well not anymore um, but that's what the program does it collects everything syncs it up it doesn't put anything online unless you tell it to okay so I'm not going to go through the entire layout of how Picasa works in here. There's a lot of stuff you can do in here, but I'm going to show you some very simple tools, okay? Uh, one of the first things you can do once it syncs all your pictures up here, let's just get right to the top. Um, you can hit this uh, button right here and create an album. An album will actually put the photos in, in your computer into a separate, well, it still doesn't copy them. I'll show you where it copies, but an album will set it up so you can drag photos from different folders and different places on your computer and have it all set up in one thing so if I go create an album here and I'm just gonna go uh, tester let's call it the tester album okay and if we double click on it see it appear there if we double click on it now we have this album and it's empty right and I want some of those uh, underwater pics that I just had or here my wife takes all these flower pics no no maybe not that Memphis Zoo Okay, sure, that'll work. The Memphis Zoo. So I want to take a few pictures from here. Okay, so, and I'm just picking folders here, right? So I'm going to get these panda pictures, and I'm going to drag them right into Tester. You can do one at a time. You can highlight, like, um, you know, I can highlight, like, three or four, drag them in, put them over Tester. If I double-click on the album now, those are all showing up in there. Okay, sounds fine, yeah, album property's good. So let's also grab... Um, is this all day five what is it oh that was our honeymoon um some more nature pictures i want to get some stuff I shouldn't be showing you guys all my pictures it doesn't really matter i don't have anything good in here here underwater cam um here's some more pictures uh of a, of a you know kind of wildlife nature so i'm gonna grab a few of these 
there's one with my wife in it. She's snorkeling. She'd probably kill me if she knew I put her in this video. Um, that one's a little cloudy. I'm going to unclick it. I'm just using the control key, right? All your standard keyboard shortcuts, everything like that. All that kind of stuff is the same. See, see how I can't even see the other ones I highlighted? Just click one and drag, and it, it will pick them all up. Drop it into Tester. Now I got this decent looking little album here with some pictures of some wildlife. Totally not in the zoo. I was just walking down the street, saw these things. And some stuff we also took in the ocean, okay? So now what I want to do is get this online for my friends to see, and I want to do it fast, okay? So what you can do here then is click here to sync it, okay? To sync to web. You're going you're to sync the album. Um, now when I do it, it's actually going to put it into my web albums and I want you to remember this this little step right here that I did this because we're gonna be back to this in about three or four minutes so I'm gonna click this and it's gonna say upload this web albums and keep it in sync so if I ever take anything out of it or add something to it that'll automatically happen in the album and then if I'm showing a slideshow of it on my website or something that'll automatically happen in the slideshow that's what's so cool about this so yeah I wanna sync it let's sync it okay now when you guys hit that while mine is syncing, I'll show you these. You probably didn't get that because you haven't. It, it's not likely that you've used uh, web albums before. What you probably got was this. Okay, hey, you you better set up Picasa web albums, otherwise you're not going to be able to do this stuff. So, at this point, uh, if you have your Google username and password from uh, Professor Gray's course, that might help. But at the same time, you're probably going to keep using this for a long time, and you might not want to use your FOL email. If you have a Gmail, that'd be good, but Google's really friendly about having everything set up with the same login, okay? So try and make it, you. if you have a login already, try and use the same one. And if it's a Fanshawe Online one, you can always change the email to your Gmail or Hotmail, but you, you can try and sign in here if you don't have it. it. Likely you don't have it, okay? That's why you're getting this message. If you did, you'd probably already be connected. So what you wanna do is go down here and sign up for web albums. You wanna click on that link there, sign up for web albums. When you do, you'll get to a screen that looks like this, and it does ask you to log into an already existing Google account. If you have that one and you wanna use the same one as your AdWords, that your AdWords is in, you might as well. If you're gonna make a new one, I would, I would eventually move everything over to that one. Just try and keep everything in one account, it's more organized. Uh, from there, it, if you have a Google account, they always ask you to verify, like, if you haven't given them your cell phone number yet, and this is Kelsey, let me use these screenshots for the video. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Um, you're, uh, it will ask you for this. You don't have to do it though. You can just skip that. So for your web albums, it's a little more personal. They want your first name, last name. They want to know a little bit about you. Uh, once you do that, you can create your profile. You can skip this too. You don't have to make a profile there. My, mine has a photo in it, but I didn't make much of a profile. I just wanted it set up. And then, so you can add the photo there if you want, or you can just skip it and go back to it later. Uh, yes, create my Google profile if you want to add that stuff in there, or if you don't, you can always do it later. They'll keep asking you to do it. But if you just um, click yes, uh, yeah, you can't really cancel out of here, guys. I shouldn't be saying just don't. You have to click yes, and then once you get in there, you don't have to do all this stuff. You can just go launch Picasa, right? You can deal with this later, okay? So don't cancel the, uh, shouldn't have been telling you out here, go back. Don't cancel the account creation. Make sure you go through that, and then launch Picasa, okay? And then you'll be in, yes, 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 my computer is going to be fine. And then it'll, it'll launch Picasa and, and you'll have it on, on your computer. It's probably already open anyway, right? So it's asking you to launch Picasa on your computer. Okay, and then on that, um, in that same browser window, it'll take you to Picasa Web Albums so that you can start syncing stuff, okay? Now the purpose of all this stuff is so that we can... Um, yeah, and then finally, uh, oh, that was when I taught YouTube embedding. Okay, we didn't need that. Uh, we didn't need, need that screenshot. So the purpose of all this stuff is so that you can easily put a slideshow into your website. And on top of that, you're probably going to end up using this more often because it just makes it really easy to get photos online. Like I didn't have to individually attach those or up like Photo Bucket. I used to use the real pain in the butt. You got to upload one at a time. Um, then they finally came with up came up with a bulk uploader, but it, it still isn't as fast as this. So. I've synced that from my Picasa on my desktop, my Picasa computer program. And then online, okay, this would have already launched if I was just setting it up now, but I'm going to go to um, Picasa, what is it, web albums? I think it's webalbums.google.com. I forget the direct link. I really should have written that down before I did this here. Okay, 
let's just go Picasso web albums login I didn't want to have this set up because if I did it wouldn't have let me show you where you could go download Picasso um, oh it is it's just Picasso web .com. so when you go to this page it's gonna ask you if you're set up if you, if you would have logged out for some reason okay so I've already I'm already logged in on this computer so it does remember me so when I get here that album that I made is already gonna be up there okay it's called tester it's already there sitting there um, what do you mean zero photos I already synced it Picasso web albums my internet's running a little bit slow here sorry about that guys I'm in grab Ben right now but uh, um, apparently it didn't sync uh, tester Okay, sync, stop syncing. No, I don't want to stop syncing, I want to sync it. Okay, here, let's just drop another picture in there and make sure I can sync again. Um, picture of my dog, that's kind of wildlife. Oh, does it say it's still syncing? Is that why that thing's on there? Wow, how freaking slow is my internet going right now? Um, yeah, it is still syncing, that's why this is happening. So it synced the name of the album up there. Usually this is quite fast. I, I don't want you to get the wrong impression here because I don't really feel like re-recording this. But um, this will be uh, synced by the time I, I demo the slideshow thing. I, I, I would imagine it would be. Um, unfortunately, it's just not syncing fast enough. Now, in class, the demonstrations I gave were strictly for the demo site. So I'll, I'll do one of those right now. And, and you do it exactly like I did it. Um, you know, you may not be uploading like three massive YouTube videos at the same time as you're syncing. That's probably why the, the photos aren't in there yet because my connection is getting a little uh, slowed down. But um, I'm going to take this Flock of Seagulls album covers uh, slideshow here. Okay, I got some stuff that I pulled in one of the classes. And I want to put this on my demo site. Okay, so all I've done up to this point is I've installed Picasso on my computer. All right, and I've taken my time doing and explaining it, and it, it found all the photos. I ended up going and Google imaging those photos, and I, I then put them into my computer, and then they appeared in Picasso right away, like they always do. All you got to do is open and close it, and any new photos will be there. And now I'm going to go to here and pull up. We can do this on the index page. I'm going to pull up the home page for my 5046 demo site. And because I already put uh, that stuff in there, in Picasso and then synced it onto the web, I already have this set up here. So this is how simple this is. Once you sync them, and this does happen pretty fast, all you need to do to get a slideshow going in your web, in your web page is click on the link to this album and then you'll see uh, paste to embed slideshow, okay? And if you go embed slideshow, you can actually set um, the size of it and different things like that and what I'm going to do is go and set up a space for that and then put it right in there and show you how fast this can be. So there's there's, uh, there's the YouTube embed I did in the previous video. So that was a really simple one. Okay, and then I want to get down into that next division. Um, here, where's all that stuff? All right, I set up a scroll box for this too in another video. Uh, that's why it's not coming up. Um, do I have a scroll box in there? Come on. Design view. Oh yeah, yeah, there's my scroll box. So I gotta get down. I gotta get down into this content. Okay. And this this is usually a little easier if you haven't made a scroll box and you can't get into it in live in uh, design view, but um, that's why that's all jammed down there. But here, if I can get further down. Okay. I'm gonna have to go into this in code view, but all you do is get your mouse in the space where you want to put it. You know what? Here, in, in lieu of me trying to undo what I've done with this scroll box, why don't I just put, the, put this right over top of the YouTube video. Um, so I'm in here, right? Okay, and this was my previous object. The, oh, why am I highlighting all this stuff? This is why you want to use the document panel, guys. Uh, Oh, there. Okay, that actually worked. I just double clicked it until it opened up the scroll box. And uh, that's pretty common. If you have a scroll box and it's full past the the length of what you said it could be, 
usually you have to double click to get into it. I was actually just trying to get on the YouTube video so I could go right over top of it. But now that I open it up, I'm just going to put it right in here. So literally, you, you want to drop it in there, remove the stuff that's already in there, and in that same space, you're going to put the code. But you're not going to do it in, in design view because then it's just going to paste characters. You're going to go back into code view with your cursor still sitting there, and then click in where you have that little space there. That's what um, MBSP is for. So, and when I got when I come back with the code, I'll paste it right in there. So, embed, embed slideshow. Um, my box is at least 500. I, I think I can probably go 400, and we can resize it after if we don't like the way it looks. Uh, and then I'm going to take this, cut the code, go in here, paste it in that exact spot. Go right to live view, okay? And live view, I'm gonna scroll down past the YouTube video, and holy cow, I got a slideshow already. Just like that, guys, it's that simple. And this will pretty much work in any browser. And it's it's the easiest way to uh, to get photos, to scroll through photos in, in your website without having to install on it like a, a complicated flash object. So once you get that in there too, I, I know I'm, I, I'm pretty, tight on the keyword thing, but you can still give this a description. You can still give um, uh, the object itself some kind of description. If you go back, the embedment, um, it doesn't really give you the, uh, the option to do it here. But if you go in here, where you have the image source, this is the alternative, uh, well, alternative keywords for the image. You can also give it a title here, as I've shown you to do. Okay, so you can put titles in. You can start jamming keywords in all over the place. So even though your images, uh, you don't have the keywords on the images in your site, you can still put them in here now. Just uh, to further get the keywords still to come up um, in your site, you can actually give the images descriptions in Picasa uh, in the slideshow. If we go back over here, uh, we're done with that, yes. Let's go back to web albums, see if that other one has some pictures in it yet. Yeah. Wow, I'm really having a hard time connecting, apparently. Um, so you can actually give the images inside a show a description. So this is Flock of Seagulls, best album. So how did I get that? You know, you can just add. Uh, down here. Okay, so you can edit the description. If you click on each picture, you give it a description right there. And I believe you can do this in Picasa as well. I usually don't do it till I put them online because I don't really need descriptions until they get online. Um, and you can do like a common one that you just keep pasting in if it's like from a trip or something like that. So it just makes it really, really easy to deal with, guys. And the fact that this wasn't really working probably just has something to do with the fact that I'm in Grand Bend uploading 90 YouTube videos and my connection sucks right now. But uh, those would have been up there that many photos. How many did I have in that slideshow? One, two, three, four. Those probably would have been up there in about, um, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds, all the photos. And then you could have a slideshow on your website in the next 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Well, two minutes. It's very, very fast. So that's Google Picasa, and that's another one of the examples of some of the multimedia that you can put on your website for me.